I want to give a brief overview of how Dhatu Pata is and how it is arranged and how to look at a Dhatu and identify certain properties that are very useful with respect to word derivation. So, first of all, there is there are about 2200 uh, dhatus in dhatu pata and panini instead of putting everything into astadhyayi he wrote five books so one of them is dhatu pata and he gave a link on 131 bhuvadayo dhatavaha bhuvadayo dhatavaha with this he basically uh, any dhatu that needs uh, to be referred and looked into this dhatu pata book okay now we picked one dhatu and it is called bhaja so this anunasika is there so technically it should be pronounced as bhaja that a part has to come but most of the people they get by with saying bhaja bhaja dhatu bhaja sevaya seva arth mein bhaja dhatu ka prayog hota hai in seva um, to get the meaning of seva you use the dhatu uh, bhaja dhatu so now look let's look at this bhaja how it is formed okay so you have bhakara plus akara and this is anudatta plus j and plus akara again but this is it is swarita and anunasika both so now the end in the entire dhatu partha you will not find a dhatu that does not have at least one ach ach being a e o r r a o i o this is a ach pratyahara starting from ach and ouch so it becomes ach so whenever i say uh, ach so it means a wow wow and you won't find a single dhatu in the entire dhatu pata that is that does not have at least one ach so at least one ach must be there in all the dhatu so if you look at a dhatu first one like bhu meaning is satayam satartma satayam so if you look here this is bha bhu so this is bha plus u sorry bha plus u so in this in this it cannot be an it because if it is an it if it is an anunasika or you know if it becomes it then you will be left with bha only so you won't find any dhatu that does not have at least one ach and if there is only one ach in the dhatu it cannot be an it uh, example we saw is bhu okay now let's go back and look into the other properties of so this last Ach usually has three properties. One, two, three. It can be udatta or it can be anudatta or it can be swarita. When it is udatta means no sign to identify and it will have an underline. And this one will have the this top line, vertical line. Right? And this one has two Udatta and Anudatta. Okay. Now if Dhatu is ending in Udatta like here so it is called udatte that means any dhatu that is ending in udatta will become parasmai pada so if i erase this part of it just to 
put more material this one will become let me change the color so this one will become parasmai pada parasmai pada this one for atmani pada and this one sorry that means ubhay pada so that's how it is and now if you look at this part of the this arch if it is udatta then it will not get itagama oh sorry it will get a itagama and anudatta means it will not get it uh gama the itagama if you want to look so if you want to derive bhavita so what happens is you start with bhu plus you bring trich um trich pratya right and uh, it is trich let me confirm that yeah trich pratya so what happens is this trich pratya it's a ardha dhatuka and uh, let me explain that ardha dhatuka because there are two categorization if it is sarva dhatuka or ardha dhatuka and if you look at the uh sutra there is a sutra on 34113 it's called thing shit sarvadhatukam so thing thing is are the 18 uh, pratya that are used to derive all the kriya padas tiptashi tiptastha mis mitvasmas atha uh thing shit sarvadhatukam okay so those 18 are called sarvadhatu um, pratya and shit anything that has a shakara as it so like shap so this sha disappears and pa disappears you left with a so a is called shit similarly shan so if you say this sha disappears na disappears and so you left with ya yeah. so that is also called shit pratyas sakara was it so these are the sarvadhatuk pratyas so and then whatever is left panini uses very frequently this technique he defines certain criteria and he calls rest is this so once he defined sarvadhatuka he said whatever is not thing and shit will become ardhadhatuka so that's how it, this will become ardhadhatuka pratya okay so once it becomes ardhadhatuka pratya then what happens is there is a sutra called ardhadhatuka siyed valade so valadi ardhadhatuka now if you look at the pratyahara val so it starts from ha to la if you take except yakara except yakara every other consonant is called val so trich being a valadi ardhadhatuka because the takara is comes under val this will get an ardha dhatu sangya once it gets ardha dhatu sangya then the idagama will happen so you will have bhu plus it plus trich so bhu the takara disappears with alankyam it sangya plus trich so now this bhu actually becomes bho See, then because of that there is a sarvadhatuka sarvadhatuka ardhadhatuka yo then it gets uh, 
guna and um, bhu becomes bho so that's the purpose but if it is bhaj and when you bring trich next to it then it does not get this idagama so that's how we determined whether idagama will happen or not happen this anadata sangya will define uh, that and there is one other thing i'd like to say let me raise this a little bit idagama will happen अर्ध धातु का सीड वाला दे ओके एंड धातु एज सच पानी नहीं यूज इन थ्री प्लेसेस सो फर्स्ट ही डिफाइंड एज भूवाद धातव भूवाद धातव वन डैश थ्री डैश वन सो एनी थिंग दैट स्टार्ट विथ भू आदि इट बिकम्स धातु इट गेट्स धातु संज्ञा ओके अदर देन दैट पाणिनी यूज सनाद्यंता धातव देर इज ए सूत्र सनाद्यंता धातव इट इज थ्री डैश वन सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम धातो रेखा चो क्रिया हम क्रिया समिहारे यंग सो यंग प्रत्यय बिगिन्स एंड देर आर मेनी अदर्स अबाउट ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन प्रत्यास वेन एवर वुच एवर लेटर यू नो दे एंड इन दोज प्रत्यास दे आर कॉल्ड सन सनंता सो दी सनंता बेस्ड ऑन दिस सूत्र दे ऑल्सो गेट धातु संख्या so that's basically some arrangement of the dhatu pata i mean the, all the words cannot be derived there is no set formula but we have to sort of understand this in a bits and pieces and uh, make progress as as we learn more and more about these small sections um, astadhyay starts becoming easier and easier i hope this helps please leave some comments on the bottom thanks